Jim Thumb and Papa's Ball Stack House. Good evening and welcome to Phil Wayback Gymnasium as I guess what? As we uh, cover tonight's action with your Argus Dragons versus the Cast and Comets. Double action tonight for the viewers with two of RTC4's family of schools members with Argus and Caston. So for Andy Stone, Super Phil on the computer, and Amy's going to be covering the camera for us. Remember, you're watching Argus TV at RTC TV4 here tonight in beautiful Argus, Indiana, where the cast and Comets come up to play the Dragons. Comets come in at a record of 10 and 6 on the season, with your Dragons coming in a record of 9 and 8 on the season. So both teams doing okay. Neither team's got that great record they were probably shooting for at the beginning of the season. Uh, 10 and 6 is pretty good. 9 and 8 is over 500. Dragons have struggled a little bit here and there. have had a player or two leave the program that's caused a little shuffle of playing time. So Coach Mawson's working on that. With that being said, we want to make sure everybody tunes in on Thursday where we have double coverage again with the Argus Dragon hosting the Culver Cavaliers, and it's the Bell game once again, and the Dragons look to continue the streak and get the Bell and retain it again here at Argus High School. The Dragons have had it for a few years now. The Lady Dragons have had it since the conception of the tournament for, not the tournament, but the conception of the girls' version of the Bell game. Um, you know, started with... Ross Popo and Dunlap and Stricker and all the girls continuing even this year got it another big win and took that again and kept it and uh, Dragons look to do the same Vinny had it uh, and then Sam and they had it again last year so it's here Dragons doing pretty well with that streak but that'll be Thursday night that we're covering that so two games in a row at home for the Dragons double coverage both nights between Caston and Argus, and then it'll be Argus versus Culver on Thursday. It is chicken noodle supper night here at Argus Community School, so come on and get yourself a dinner and come watch some basketball action. So Phil's going to give us a few commercials. We're going to just let this play out on uh, for a couple more minutes, and we're going to get back with the starting lineups and the national anthem and get this game rolling. The JV cast and comments came out on top of tonight's action and beating the JV of Argus. So we'll be back right after these few messages. Hi, I'm John Oliver letting you know that our pre-owned inventory has a history with no mystery. Most are one owner, local trade-ins. We inspect each trade as if our own child was going to be the next owner. We do a 40 point inspection including brakes, tires, and wiper blades. Next we review and update the scheduled maintenance. At Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth, a pre-owned purchase is a worry-free purchase. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 160,000 participants here in Indiana who take part in high school sports. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, the Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit the Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30-second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15-second logo sponsorship for you. 
With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact Co-Alliance today. Argus Hardware is your local do-it-best hardware store, offering everything you need for your home improvement, lawn and garden, housewares, and home decor. Argus Hardware prides itself on a knowledgeable and friendly staff. Stop by today to stock up on all of your winter preparation needs, like shovels or ice melt. Argus Hardware is located at 200 West Walnut Street in Argus. Argus Hardware, your local do-it-best hardware store. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a Simply Free checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply Free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Hi, I'm John Oliver. We love our customers and we work hard to prove it every day. Buy a car, get free car washes for the life of that car. When your car needs service, we provide a new loaner at no charge. Plus, we give you a complimentary alignment check each time we service your car. That increases tire life. And when you do need tires, we sell them at the lowest price guaranteed. Feel the love at Oliver Ford Lincoln and Plymouth. And we're back. Getting ready for the game here. The teams have come in. We've got a minute till national anthem and starting lineups. We've got a couple players for the Dragons, Owen Nifong and Sam Manikowski, looking to get break a thousand points this year. Got a few more games to go. Average a few double-digit games here and they both can break a thousand which is a good milestone here for all high school basketball players it's been a while since we've had a player do that here in the area or for Argus so got about 30 seconds I want to congratulate the Lady Dragons who in, uh, finished up their season last week coming a little short uh, to lacrosse lacrosse went in and lost to Castant for the sectional title. So here we go. We're going to get ready to do the national anthem and then the starting lineups.
All right, National Anthem by the Argus Pep Band. Austin Mills, teacher, director for the program. All right, for the Comets, number four, Luke Lowe. Number 10, Katie Zider. Number 13, Hunter Sheenlob. And number 33, Mike Rands. Just call him Hunter. And for the Argus Dragons. Sam Manikowski. Freshman, number five, J.J. Morris. Number, sophomore, number 23, Mikey Richard. Senior, number 33, Caleb Ellis. And the senior, number 35, Owen Nifong. All right, let's see, here we go, 6-4, jumping. Hunter Shanlom. 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 Shanlom? Okay. Sure, that's what I'm going with. I can ask this nice gentleman next uh, yeah, if you want. He wanted to know uh, if we could pick up his, him talking, and I said. Yes, yes you well, can. there was no mic over here at that time. Morris, freshman, versus... Manikowski being ornery. <laughs> Versus the senior jumping. And his tip goes Caston's way. Has it, scrambles, comes across, kicks it over, off his leg. Picks it back up. Rands. Hunter has it out high. Rands gets it again. Goes to Hunter. And his shot's up. Missed. Tip back. And it's going to be Nifong. And he's going at it quick. Not wasting any time. Kicks it all the way over. Ellis. Richard for three. Sets it up and puts it in. Mikey Richard for three. It's a good way for the Dragons to start. Has it, kicks it over. Caston kicks it down. Thought he was going to pull the trigger there. Drives baseline, turns, spins over. Looks like they're required to wear red shoes. Most everyone has the Adidas for Caston. There's a pair of Nikes out there. <clears throat> Good ball movement from the Comets. Long shot, Morris, and it's in and matches him. Rands with the three to tie it up. Morris looking to work against Hunter. Freshman versus the senior here tonight. Manikowski over to Ellis. Richard from the Manikowski kicks it over to Morris. Ellis rotates it around. Gets it in. Freshman up and misses. A rebound goes to Rands. Kicks it forward. Nifon cuts off the baseline. All the way out top the key. Looks to be a good classic night of Indiana basketball here. Baseline. Shots up and misses, rebound to Morris. Manikowski comes across the timeline. Kicks it over to Nifong, looks, fakes. 
Sets up. Manikowski gets two on him. Ellis wide open fakes. Should have pulled the trigger. Knife on, looks. Richard keeps it back. And Morris, Dragons patient. Man to man by the comments. Ellis for three from the corner, and it's no good. Rebound goes to Knife Funk. Spins, goes back towards him. Loses, gets the ball back, puts it up, and misses again. Rebound goes to the Comets. Yeah, chopped, uh, he chopped Morris in the throat. It's tipped. Hunter, I don't know if you could see it on the camera. Gets it in, rotates it down low, tipped away from knife long, Alice comes away with it. Manikowski. Shot, and it's good by Nightfong for two. Defensive battle so far with a whole five to three. Gonna be a good war of attrition, lots of rebounds. Holds it, looks, gets it low. Double team, and it's stolen again, and Ellis comes up away with it again. Another tip from Nifong. Manikowski rotates it over. Morris fakes, gets it to Nifong, shots up, and good. Nifong for two more. Drag is being very patient and working together on defense and converting at the other end. And there's a foul at the other end. Yeah, it's kind of obvious. Uh, the foul by, on Hunter, uh, it's his first, team's first, first of the game. <laughs> you want the mic? Joe Manikasi sitting here. Amy wants to know if he wants the mic. He's going to take it. He's going to guest commentate with me. Oh, he's over there saying no. He didn't want it. Yep. Oh, and there's a great break, and uh, Manikowski with two, and Coach is forced to call timeout for Cass, and fantastic 30 basketball. Second, 30 second timeout. We're gonna be back right after this.
RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. All right. Around. Is when we're starting. <laughs> 7.15, and that was, I sent that at 6.51. Ladies, never, never, ar never argue with your husband, because <laughs> they're never right. Uh, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> All right, we got some halftime stats here for... What do we got? Caston. Klein with three. Shanlom. We're very Hunter. sorry if we're butchering a name. We Hunter, we just called him Hunter. He only had four. The Dragons held him to four, which I know is very non-typical for him. Last week he had 26 in the game. Smith with two. Spin with four. And Rands with held to only five. For your Dragons, Morris with two. Mikey Richard with the three at the beginning of the game. Manikowski with eight and Nifong with nine. 22 18 here at halftime. We have a barn burner. Yeah, it's Indiana <laughs> basketball. Sorry for. Good defense, though. Good defense holds those yeah, scores. Yeah, only six fouls between both teams all together for the first half. Yeah. So that was fantastic. So I want to uh, tell everybody sorry about the technical difficulties we're having. We knew the camera was having issues. I don't know if you were able to hear us for the first half while I was broadcasting. He if ran you, his mouth the whole half, so if, he did talk. If you didn't, well, then maybe that was the best thing for you. <laughs> <laughs> so. Phil, though, reset the system, and it should be back up and running, and we should be good to go for second half action. All right. So, Dragons got a lead at the moment. It will actually be casting ball coming out. Yeah, we knew it was going to be a close game. Dragons barely lost to Triton. And then Caston beat Triton in overtime. I understand Coach Grove's got a technical in the overtime, and that kind of, uh, when you have that short a time and you get a technical in it, it really hurts you. So uh, that's probably a, a big part of some action there. So I knew it was going to be a close game, and it's, so far it has not disappointed. Great defensive acts and works from both teams. Some good shots here and there, but really it's just been a defensive battle, and as you can tell with a combined score of 40, uh, it's not going to be super busy. So we got 26 seconds. Dragons will break out of the huddle, and we will be going live here from Phil Waybright Gymnasium. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so here we go. Casting basketball. Rands to inbound to spin. Spins very quick. Nifong's out to meet him once he comes across the timeline. Dragons with a zonal man-to-man -man type of deal. Shifting down. It's like a 1-3-1 one, one zone. Wide open in the quarter for Rands, and he misses and rebound Ellis. 33 shot, 33 rebounded. Caleb's come up with some really... Uh Great rebound so far tonight. Uh, unfortunately, he throws that one right into Turn the it. line and misses, but he comes back and gets another rebound. <laughs> He'll check his I'm not saying passing. anything this time. I must have jinxed him. <laughs> Off of Morris's forehead. Ouch. Yep. Good pass from Nifong. Just a little too much pepper on it. So, two shots, two rebounds, two turnovers. Kind of a mess right here at the beginning of the second half. And hello, Kenny and Linda. Hi, Welcome. Kenny. Hi, Linda. 
enjoy the warm weather because we're, we're going to get, get some s- snow. <laughs> finally, going to get some snow and cold temperatures up here. Did you say hi to Aunt Nancy? No, I haven't. Aunt Nancy, and there's a bucket by Hunter. Aunt Nancy, if you were watching, I'm sorry. We got some technical difficulties. Yeah. The Carolina representative from Kindred Clan shots up, misses, rebound. And here comes Caston. Dragons up by two. Dragons have led the entire game. Rands cuts through, kicks it back over, just about stolen by Nifong. Looks to battle, gets it low, shots up, and puts it in. So they're just going to pound it low and battle for the buckets, and now it's tied. First time tonight since the game's tipped off. Manikowski has it, kicks it out to Morris. Top of the key. Ellis has it. Richard. Ellis. Knife on fakes. Drives, kicks it over. Manikowski gets it to Morris. Morris kicks it out. Ellis for a quick three. And just off the mark. And it's a foul on the Dragons. I thought he said 23. Uh, sounds like it. There it is, Mikey, Mikey Richard. Richard. First foul of the half. Dragons going with the full court pressure here. Comes across the timeline. Rams comes out to get it. Shot, distance, misses, rebound. Morris over to Richard. Manikowski drives, stuffed and fouled by Rams. Coach Cass is telling him, you guys got to shift earlier. <laughs> Good attempt, Manikowski at the line, shooting two. Rands just got him with a little bit too much of the body. Makes the first one. Manikowski in and out roll. Open for the travels. You betcha he set his feet. Wide open, set his feet, moved him just a bit when Mikey Richard flew by. Travels called. Right here. Is in for Ellis. Oh, what a fake from Manikowski. Kicks it low to JJ, gets it back, and he's <laughs> fouled on the ground. And that's another foul on Rands. What a ball fake from Manikowski to get him in the air. And Coach isn't going to be happy with that, and he's going to sub him. Two fouls, that's his third early on in the third quarter. Smart play from Manikowski. Elbow jumper, and it's good. Manikowski with 12. Dragons back up by three. With, sorry, Manikowski with 11. Big man way out high, drives. Shots up, misses. Rebound, Mikey Richard. Here comes Manikowski. Wagner backs into the corner. Manikowski. Knife on drives, and missed. And missed again. Dragons had two attempts when they able to convert. Travel. Yes, he did. So too. Yep, coach yelled to travel on it, but it wasn't called. A little stutter there at the start. Shots up, passes. Shot, no good on the foul beforehand. 
He called it on the ground before he even went to it. So Another foul on Mike Richard. Yep, that's his second first. first. Uh, his second. It he is his second because they gave him, well, unless they gave it to the wrong person. Uh, no, we watched him stand to do 23. No, that's the clock. Yeah, it's just the clock's wrong. It's two fouls on him. Yeah, yeah they changed it. Redinger's out. Shots up. Misses. Rebound goes to Richard. Hunter struggling tonight for the Comets. Nifong kicks it over. Nifong with the charge. That'll be his second. Oof. Rough foul there. Ran him over. Can't do that. <laughs> Who knew? Yeah, they tend to dislike that. Yeah. Spin. Kicks it over. Spin, drives, tries to force it down, shot, and misses with the air ball, and here comes Manikowski. He's going right at him. Man, knife on and is blocked. Good block by Hunter. Quick, quick ball movement. Shots up by Manikowski. Rebound by Hunter. Hunter's having a little issue scoring, but man, he's doing everything else right. Block shot, gets a big rebound there, and he's coming down the court. Morris can't get to it. Quick three, no good. Rebound goes to Manikowski, and here he goes. He's not wasting time. JJ shields. Nifong drives, kicks it over. Manikowski looks. Morris. Back over to Ellis, and they rotate it around. Richard comes to the corner and kicks it around to the edge. Here's a quick three, and it looks good, and it is! Mikey Richard with a big three. Dragons are back up by six. Back up by six. Rands is out with three fouls. Won't be going back in probably till the third quarter's over. Here's a big tip. Nice ball, and puts it in for two. Morris couldn't get to it. Almost double digits now for Hunter. Stripped. Manikowski gets it back. Missed. And he's hit. On the block out, maybe? Yeah. 21. They're going to call it on the shot. He's shooting two. We had... This is more fouls than we had the whole first half, right? Yep. <laughs> All right, Manikowski at the line. One of two last time. And short. Oh, and he's angry with himself. Dragons can't afford to miss too many free throws. Looks to put him up by five. And he makes it. Full court pressure. Kind of back off now once they get the pass in. Here comes Spin. Drives. Runs into traffic. Ooh. Help side defense. Here comes the big man. And it's blocked by Ellis. What a block on the pass. Denied. Read it very well. Minute 20, and the Dragons are spreading it up by five. Nifong has it. Gives it over to Manikowski. Manikowski not wasting any time. Never moved his foot. They wanted a quick travel. Traveler, he put it down again. Thought double-double, but I thought it was tipped. Shot, Nifong, off the mark. Rebound, Ellis, put back. Loose just misses. Two good so plays by the that. Dragons and unable to convert. And here comes Spin. Oh, he carries the ball bigger than life. And they call it. And here's going to be a timeout. No. And he tells Rands to sit back down. 48 seconds. He said it's not worth it when it's Dragons basketball. Coach had Rands getting ready to go in because Caston had the ball. And once the turnover happened, he put him back on the bench and said, no defensive foul for you. Smart move from Coach. A 
Well, if we repeat the last two quarters, I'm sure we're going to hold it and try and get a last second shot yeah. off here. Carl Davis, head coach for the Comets, very smart. And Nifong goes all the way through and they tipped it out. Oh my word, what? How, How did he lose it? He just shrugged his shoulders. Owen asked him and he just shrugged his shoulder. Okay. Okay. Minute, you don't yeah, know? if you saw that, it was obviously tipped out of his hand. It, you don't go a layup and throw it all the way against the back curtain. So they look for the baseball pass. Nope, they go short, and they're going to bring the cross with 24 seconds left. Rands came in as soon as they got the offensive ball back. So look for him or Hunter to shoot, potentially down low. Drives. Nobody. Push off. There it is. Cleared him off with the yellow. You that's his fourth. You can't move your hand away. That's a uh, very... Obvious. I mean, you make it. Obvious yeah, it's that just a little bit it. too much. Coach, coach didn't argue a bit. He just instantly threw a sub in. He kind of knew it, unfortunately. Whether you think it was enough pressure yeah. to knock him down, it doesn't really matter. Well, because it was a loose ball. They both went for it. Manikowski for two, and it's good. At the second. buzzer, it's worked that time for Manikowski and the Dragons. We're going to go for the last break of the evening, 31-24. We'll be back right after this. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide variety of services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. We offer commercial lending and business checking to help with your business banking needs. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. Oliva Ford is the largest certified pre-owned dealer in Michiana. Our inventory changes daily and you are guaranteed the best customer service in our area. We treat you like family. Every certified pre-owned Ford includes factory-backed warranty coverage, complimentary vehicle history report and lots more. Don't miss out on our end-of-year discounts on all of our good-as-new inventory. Rates low as we have ever seen and the best customer service you have ever experienced. All right, we're back. Dragons basketball to start the fourth quarter. Dragons up 31-24. Rands with four fouls. He's the one player for both teams in foul trouble. Nifong, spin move, shot blocked. And Hunter. How is that a foul on Owen? I, where was the contact? I don't see the contact. His hand was on the ball. I mean, if... <laughs> you got to explain that's right. that one. That's right. Coach, is Coach has won to know. He said he's standing there after the tip. and well, I didn't see the body contact. Yeah, I didn't see the he wasn't, contact. wasn't close enough. So, knife on with three. Gets it low. Throws it away. Recovered by the Comets. Spin has it. Quick. Moves. Looks. Gets himself into some trouble, and he kicks it back out. Drives over, goes at it. Stolen by Kendig. Richard has it. Gets it over to Kendig. Back over to Ellis, rotates it around. Manikowski has it out high. Gives it to Kendig in the corner. Back over to Manikowski. Ellis. Richard fakes, turns, gets it to Nifong. Manikowski with three in the corner, and it's off the mark. Rebound goes to Nifong, and he drives in, and fouled, and he lost it. Number 20, maybe? Nope, 13. I want to call it on, well... I thought it was sure it was on 20, but they give it to Hunter. He only his only his second, and Nifong shooting two. Nifong made his one earlier and misses. Dragons are leaving points on the shelf by not making free throws. Rams comes back for the offense. They'll imagine there's going to be a lot of offense-defense substitution here. 
trying to save him. Save the him offense. from the fifth foul. They need him on offense. And man, Nifong yeah. makes that one. We got Ted Redinger coming in and Jay Morris. Morris giving Owen Nifong and JJ, or not JJ, Mike Richard. Oh. Mikey Richard. Yeah. I was going to say, someone else has to come off. Come on. So Kindig, Morris, my man Nikowski, Redinger, and Ellis. You got Rands, and then Hunter, Spin, Zyder, and Low for the Comets. Drives, gets a little bit of momentum, and Kendig with a great help side shuts him down on the lane drive. Big man gets it over to Rands. Back over to Rands. Looks to try to feed it. The Dragons have got it covered well. Foul on Redinger on the ground. <laughs> I was waiting for that one. No, not even close. It's all right. Kicks it out to Rands. Looks, kicks it all the way back. Dragons have packed that center. Here's a quick three and a short rebound, Manikowski. The Dragons have really packed that lane on defense, preventing the easy buckets low, and here comes Manikowski. Across the timeline. Bettinger has it. Carries it, although there's constant hands on him. I don't think they, I think they might have changed that rule back because they don't call it like they used to. I don't think they changed it back, they just don't call it. Oh. Okay. Dragon still up. 32 24. 5 17 left in the game. Rands with four fouls. Richard going back in. Here's a quick three, and it's good. And there's a quick timeout from Caston. 30 second timeout. We'll be back right after this. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like now neighbors. You can watch because, your well, cable that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane computer. provider, you're Just trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county. Enter not the country. A your RTC account that's close by and, and seriously to dedicated to your everywhere. safety and providing the Live best sport, service possible. Videos on Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane, seriously local service, and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at Co-Alliance Propane.com. from RTC. Half of <laughs> and we're back. Five minutes left. Yeah, five minutes and seven seconds. Dragon's still up. By five. Get the ball. Full court pressure. Gets it over to Ellis. Dragon's work it down. No problem. Knife on. Looks. Sets it up. Ellis has it. Knife on. Foul. And that's his, let me see here. Number 10. Number 10. That's only probably that's Lowe's first. first, yeah. Team is up to six. Next one will be one and one. Nope. Sorry, that's Zyder. Manikowski taking a break right now. Knife on came in for him. Gets it over to Ellis. Caddy corner, Richard fakes. Shots up and he's fouled and he's shooting two. And so after the free throws, coach is bringing back in Rands and Klein. So he's gonna sub and sub offense and defense possession wise. Manikowski also coming back in for the Dragons. Yep. Richard has a chance to put some more points on the board for the Dragons and can't. That's the Dragons have not made two Hope since the, the very first one. time here. And Kendig, good uh, minutes from Kendig. So I'd be there shooting 50% if they're picking up that second. Yeah, oh, boy. Plus that two at the beginning. Yeah, we, we might be just above 50% because Owen had the one from the beginning. 
And yep. Richard puts that one in. Big free throw. The Dragons need every point possible. It's up by six. Kicks it through. Quick three. Good. Somebody might want to cover him. That's two away for Zyder. That would be a good idea. Sam says clear out. I got this. Yep. Come across the timeline with no problem. Ellis. Richard. Gets it to knife on. Morris puts it in for two. Big bucket from Morris. Dragons up by five. Dragons back up by five. Hunter. Rands has it. Going to drive. And gets it in. Manikowski stopped it, but he couldn't cut off the angle to where he just went around him. Well, he didn't give him, give him an and one, so. Yep. He's made a smart decision. Richard kicks it back. Manages timeout Coach Mawson. First timeout he's used all game. Uh, we'll be back. 30. 30 second timeout. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. We're back. Okay. Here we go. Rands is sitting out. He's back out because he has four fouls for the Comets. Everybody else is three or less. And there's not that many. Richard has it. Manikowski brings it out. Still Dragons up by three. Gets it to knife on. Manikowski. Fake move, gets him back. Kicks it over to Ellis. Richard. Kick. Dragons basketball. Got rid of about 20 seconds there. Next foul. Dragons are in the one and one. Manikowski gets it with ease. Comes across timeline. Oh, I, look at Manikowski. He was wide open, boys. He was so open. He's wanting it, wasn't he? Yeah, people are coming to the restaurant there with that open. <laughs> Ellis gets it. Looks for the trap, gets it over to Manikowski. Man, knife on, out high. Back over to Manikowski. Jumper, in and out, rebound, Ellis, huge rebound. Tries to force the pass. Ball's loose and it's gonna be Dragons basketball. Huge rebound, he just gotta relax. Yeah, I thought he was trying yeah. to throw it off his legs and get it out of bounds. <laughs> huge rebound though. Got rid of another 20 seconds there. He should have gone up. Yeah, he could have gone up. They were scrambling a little bit. Draw the foul. 22 got a hold of him. No call. Ellis. Out the knife on. Dragon set it up. Minute 49. Up by three. Pretty good game. That's been a fantastic game. Both teams giving the defensive show. Good heart. Good work. Good work for the Dragons. Two people on one, that means that somewhere. Somebody's open. Manikowski. And they're gonna try a charge. They're gonna call it. That is first or second? Manikowski second. They call the charge, big call. Big offensive foul there. And that helps the Comets. Minute 26 left, Dragons up by three. Uh, where's number 10? The three-point shooter, I'd be on him. Yep. 
He's over there, Zyder. He done very well. No call! Oh boy, same thing that just happened. Yeah. That was the exact Yeah, that's the exact same thing. play. Manikasi <laughs> tried to get it back and no call for some reason I hate when it's a no call. Ay ay ay. Alright, he's gonna make both of these. Let me see who he calls it on. 33 on, oh, they caught on Rands. That's his fifth. Huge foul. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Coach is it's telling him, hey, you got to be careful. Manikowski, it's time to make him, boy. Here you go. He's got two. Nope. Uh, I would have thought that was a one-on-one. -on -one. I thought he was trying to pass it, but he was going to make him anyways. It's not going to matter. Just like that. Yeah, regardless, it would have been two. Up by four with a minute two left. Manikowski, pressure shooter. And he puts it right in, and that's it. That's what we want to talk about. Dragons got to play some tough defense here. A minute left in the game. Dragons up by five. Ellis, very good. Looks. Picks the dribble up. Ellis stopped to draw that charge, and he turned away. 48 seconds. Here's a quick three. No good. Rebound. Manikowski, and he's not wasting time. He's got them all beat. Pulls back, and he's hit. And they knew it. Good work from the Manikowski, and he's going back to the line. This time shooting one and one. Well, yes, it's shooting because it's one and one. <laughs> one and one. And there's a timeout from Kasson trying to ice Manikowski. Full timeout. Full timeout. We'll be back right after this. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is $50 to open the account with no minimum balance and no monthly service fees. For a limited time, you will also receive a free gift just for opening the account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card right when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply Free Checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. When you shop at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth, you're treated like family, and it's a full-service experience. Our expert service team can keep your vehicle happy for years, from simple maintenance to major repairs. We even provide a loaner car if your vehicle needs to stay overnight, so we have an excellent source of demonstrator vehicles offered to you with substantial discounts. So search our inventory online or stop in for a test drive at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. And we're back. Manikowski. <laughs> At the line, 39.8 seconds left. Dragons up by five, looking to extend the lead. Big one and one right here. And he puts it in, huge free throw. Dragons up by six. Seven, Manikowski coming through when he was most needed. And it's stolen by Richards. Fortunately, I mean, the ref is part of the... The ref is part of the court. The ball hits the ref. It's... Okay, we're going to have a full timeout. Yep, timeout on... Coach Mossum, we'll be back right after this. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit The Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. Argus Hardware is your local do-it-best hardware store, offering everything you need for your home improvement, lawn and garden, housewares, and home decor. 
Argus Hardware prides itself on a knowledgeable and friendly staff. Stop by today to stock up on all of your winter preparation needs, like shovels or ice melt. Argus Hardware is located at 200 West Walnut Street in Argus. Argus Hardware, your local do-it-best hardware store. And we're back. Dragons basketball. We got the steal on the inbound play after the two free throws from Manikowski. And Manikowski's fouled. He's going back to the line. 35 Shooting seconds left. Shooting two, actually, this time. Shooting two. They're in With tens. Double bonus. They're in the tens, baby. All right, Manikowski padding his scoring tonight with some free throws. And he does it again. Missed two earlier on in the evening, but has been rock solid for, let me see here. We'll see how many straight. Gets it a go. Six straight. Ball's loose, ball's loose, and Nifon comes away with it, to. and he's fouled. Oh. All right, Dragons up by nine, and Nifon's going to the line. Shooting two. Stoltz Ooh. and Odell going in. Nifong puts it in. The Dragons finally in the rhythm from the free throw line. Once again, you're watching Argus TV on RTC TV4. Uh, we'll be back here on Thursday night for the Argus Culver Bell game. And two teams, two schools. Come at 4.30 to 6.30, have some chicken noodles here at the Music Booster Chicken Noodle Dinner. Nifong makes that. It's eight straight free throws for the Dragons. Come deadly from the line at the end here. Stolen from Manikowski. And coach tells him, to get back. 13 seconds left. Picks it up and that's gonna do it. Dragons with a big win over Casting tonight. 43-32. Huge win for the Dragons. Congratulations to Coach Mawson. Good game from the Comets. Very defensive, fantastic. Uh, you know, Coach Carl Davis said for the Comets had a good strategy. He was working good, and then right at the end, the Dragons just got enough rhythm. They couldn't miss in the free throw line and gave them eight straight free throws, so that helped them. So with that, we're not going to uh, – we're going to go get quick stats, and then we'll be back after these commercials. We'll do the unofficial stats, and then we'll be cutting out. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact Co-Alliance today. Simplify your banking with a simply free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a simply free checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. John Oliver. We love our customers and we work hard to prove it every day. Buy a car? Get free car washes for the life of that car. When your car needs service, we provide a new loaner at no charge. Plus, we give you a complimentary alignment check each time we service your car. That increases tire life. And when you do need tires, we sell them at the lowest price guaranteed. Feel the love at Oliver Ford Lincoln and Plymouth. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? 
to better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, auto, life, business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. Enjoy full screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in-home Wi-Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24 seven for free or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. All right, we're back. Yeah, Phil got his technical difficulties sorted out. So for the Comets, we have Klein with three, Smith with two, Spin with four, Zyder had two good threes in the fourth quarter for six. Hunter Sh Shanlam had eight, held to under 10. Fantastic work. And Rands with nine, both big men. And Rands had a little bit of foul trouble and fouled out. For the Dragons, Morris had four. Richard had seven. Knife on with double digits at 12. And Sam Manikowski, Leading all scorers with 20. So remember, Thursday night, Culver Cavaliers come here for the Bell game against your Argus Dragons at Philway Bright Gymnasium. Come on out, go down to the Turkey Supper, Turkey Noodle Supper, and visit for Argus TV. And RTC TV4, I want to thank you for watching. We have Phil here on the computer killing us. And then Amy on the camera and Steve back at home. We appreciate everything. Good night. Good evening. Have a good day. Good night.